Where is the, oh my gosh, what the fuck? Stop that. Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey PGK. I love colorful things. So we're back once again to play the Not So Buried Challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one family that you play for 10 generations and each generation is based on a different color and have different requirements in order to complete the generation. We are still on the first generation, which is mint, but we might've just had the second generation or we're working on the second generation, which is the rose generation. I'll introduce the rose generation to you guys once we officially start it, but I really want today to be about grinding. So last episode, we had the engagement. Minth and her now fiance, Raphael, are engaged. They are co-parenting Minth's child with an alien. And just overall, we're having a great time. I also really want her to start really, really working on those requirements of the challenge. I've been very focused on and, you know, like gameplay and everything. So I really do want her to be getting all the challenge stuff going. If you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on a notification bell so you are notified every time a new video goes live. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Saturdays being the day, of course, that not so very challenges are uploaded. Happy Saturday. If you're watching this on a Saturday, what's up? Okay, so I really wanna see what Poppy looks like more as like a toddler. So we're gonna switch Poppy into toddler mode instead of alien mode for this episode. I still haven't seen what you guys think about me possibly just putting down the house with free real estate because I didn't use free real estate properly the first time. As many of you pointed out, I used free real estate just to get the first lot and I didn't actually use free real estate to buy the first house. So let me know if that's cheating or if you guys think that's fair. You guys did say in our other challenge that you guys didn't think it was a problem to use the fancy trash can. So we're gonna use the fancy trash can again. We we also gotta start saving up money for our future kids to be able to move out of the house and have their own homes without having to bulldoze the family home all the time. You know, I do wanna kinda start from scratch with every generation, but I don't wanna like die every generation, you know what I'm saying? Ninth is a newly adult woman. I feel like you can take like a pregnancy treatment. Hold on, let me see the period tracker. Is she on her period right now? So I'm day five of my eight days. So we're not PMSing yet. Most fertile day is coming up in one day. Okay, so tomorrow is gonna be our most fertile day. So we gotta go hard tomorrow. It's a Saturday. I'm thinking that they'll get married technically today, but I kind of want to wait a few days. So we'll be getting married at the end of today's episode. Poppy is very sad and looking to wake up dad, but I disagree. So why don't you disguise yourself first, Poppy? I just really want to see you as baby. Oh, see, she's so cute. Not that I think you have to hide yourself to be loved, but also it's fun to see your human form sometimes, okay? Let's give you the whole shebang. I feel like Poppy is going to be a really independent being. Her future is going to be political. So we wanna make sure that she's, you know, just thriving from a young age. Oh, Poppy had a nightmare. Oh, poor baby. You can play with Mojito. Why don't you and Mojito like bond? Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. You can pet Mojito. You can imitate Mojito. Oh, is Poppy meowing? <laughs> Poppy woofed. Mojito's like, why are you like this? Oh, they're bonding! Mojito likes it that Poppy is, is meowing back to Mojito. When do you age up, Poppy? Okay, d three days. So hopefully Poppy will age up at the end of this episode. You're not fully like sleeped out, so why don't we have you actually go back to sleep? Because I don't want your parents, you know, I wanna, I wanna, whoa! Oh my gosh, Mojito, not again! But luckily I can throw it away in the fancy trash can and get money for it. Good job, Mojito! <laughs> get a fertility treatment. Ooh, okay. I think that's gonna cost us a lot of money. Oh no! Okay, she's gonna get a fertility treatment because I really want them to be fertile. I guess you have to get the fertility treatment out of the mail. You should also just get the mail. Oh, she's going to go get it. Okay, Raphael, why don't you wake up, honey? And then you can potty train Poppy for us. Ooh, Myth received a temporary fertility treatment. Her chances of becoming pregnant will be now higher during the next ovulation. After the next ovulation treatment, will lose its potential. Okay, so her ovulation, I think, is tomorrow. I need to double check. It's coming up in one day. Okay, yes, I think it's tomorrow. 
gross. Why don't you, sweetie, repair the kitchen thing? And then, oh, it looks like we've got some new elements. So I'm gonna try while you're repairing to try all the all these elements. Okay, there's first one is a no. Second one is a no. Third one, I believe we already have. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Wow, I wonder what this last one that we're missing is. And Raphael is feeling very focused while teaching Poppy Potty, which is very cute. And Minth is being very handy, cleaning up everything. He is super focused. Why don't you mop up? Poppy's just chilling. She's a little sad because she had a potty accident. Oh no, sweetie. Oh, she needs, she needs, she needs a shower. Take a thoughtful shower. Hopefully she'll have a breakthrough with her shower. Oh no, Raphael's cooking himself some food and I think he hurt his finger really quickly. Will she get her next? We're at seven. So we have like eight, nine, and we have three more. Oh my gosh. Tobias is wondering if she's gonna go over to his house and hang out. I feel like it's time to just let him go. So she's gonna accept. She's gonna be like, I need to just lay down this law. Like I'm engaged now, Tobias. Like you need to just let me go. So brighten his day. Oh my gosh, ask for birthday money. That's hilarious. Announce your engagement. Yeah, you gotta tell him that you're engaged. She's gonna tell him that she's engaged. He's like, oh, really? Great. And then I think you need to talk about your birthday, ask him about like his life, and then probably just be like, listen, I think we should just be friends. Complain about love, like, no, we don't have, oh, he told us happy birthday. Oh my gosh, he's freezing. Okay, where is the, oh my gosh, what the flip? Stop that, stop that. Okay, he went in, he tried to kiss her. All right, she kind of accepted, but I think that's just because of that's how The Sims is and they did have some romance. I'm kind of annoyed that she accepted it. I let them go for like two seconds. He's freezing to death. Come on, we just told him that you're engaged. Uh-uh, uh-uh, shut that down. He stepped away, we shut it down. Why, why don't we yell at him? Like, how dare you? Oh, he's gonna freeze to death though. I don't want him to die. Let's go here together. We're gonna talk. She's yelling at him though. She's like, why would you do that? Okay, do not do that. And he's like, Oh, I gotta tell you that I am engaged, okay? Are they flirting? Oh my God, they are? They're a thing? Lavender and Lyra? Oh, maybe Lyra did like Mint this whole time, but good for them. Ask Tobias what his problem is. Just let me stew my bitterness in peace. Some things are hard to forget and forgive, okay? So he is mad that she came over to tell him that she is more than happy with future husband. I've got a baby. I've got a man. I don't need you right now. So she's gonna be mischievous. We're gonna take this. Uh, she's gonna announce her engagement again to him. I want to let you know that I am getting engaged. I'm getting married, Tobias. I, she told him twice, like, hey, I'm getting engaged. Look at Lyra over here just watching this happen. She looks very interested in what Minth has to say. Lyra even got up and is like, I'm gonna turn on TV and pretend I'm watching, but really I'm just listening to their conversation. <laughs> okay, he's leaving. I think he got the message. She just had a little bit of fun. Poppy looks so cute in her little ladybug inspired outfit. I love it. Ooh, look at you, Raphael. Having like a little time with the chest. Is she okay? What is on her face? Insecure from jealous trait and skin redness. Oh, she needs some skin treatments. All right, well, let's do like a one-time treatment. Oh my gosh, Tobias would like to come over to hang out. Did you not get the message, Tobias? No, we are not inviting you over. Go grab a serving, Poppy. Mom set out some food for you. There you go, good job. They also need to do some like fun making resolutions and, and New Year's stuff. Oh, get promoted or raise a skill. I feel like raise a skill is a good one for right now. And Raphael, I think that your New Year's resolution should be maybe raise up his skill too. He's gonna have the same as, as our girl. Actually, why don't we have her play some chess with Raphael? It'll up her skill of logic and hopefully they will both have a breakthrough during it. Go to bed, honey. It's time for bed. You don't get to stay up for New Year's, unfortunately. Are you guys not gonna have a breakthrough? Can you just take a thoughtful shower? I really need you to have a breakthrough so you can get a promotion tomorrow at work. Well, actually on Monday at work. She did not have one there. 
Why don't you read Crisis Barn? Maybe. Oh, she's reading at her daughter's bed. So cute. Yes! Mint Berry has her 14th breakthrough and wrote down an idea for in Biggin Serum. What, Raphael? We gotta watch the New Year's Eve countdown. I know it's already too late, but like, we gotta watch it. Are you gonna do the countdown or not? Okay, I guess it's over. Is it time for her have baby? Coming up in one day, it says. Oh, PMS. Oh, okay, wait, there. today's the fertile day. Okay, when they wake up, we know what's happening, all right? Bounce chicka wow wow is happening. Oh, and it's prank day? I'm craving something sweet. Good job, girl. And grab some leftovers, my boy. Mint is like almost ready to wake up, so why don't you give Poppy a bath? Play with laser pointer with, with Mojito. Festival of Youth is started. How cute. And it's prank day, which of course is Mint's favorite holiday. Duh. You kids have fun. She really needs to pee. Well, that's perfect because you can pee after on a stick and tell me whether or not you're pregnant. I don't know what skills you have. She's level three in movement and communication. Oh, that's cute. Why don't you work on thinking then though? Okay, they're both have finished. Oh, she's gonna go to the bathroom. But first I want you to take a pregnancy test. Come on, pregnant. Come on, pregnant. We took the fertility treatment. It's the right day. It should have all lined up. Yes! <laughs> We're eating for two. My mods make it so much more challenging for her to get pregnant, but it's so cute. She's like, I'm gonna have your baby, Raphael. I don't like that they're back to back for this news, but he seems excited. Oh my gosh, how cute. I want him to give her a little, a little kiss. Poppy's gonna have a sister or a brother. Poppy's gonna be an older sibling. Hey, I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor. It's, who is that? Is that Eliza? Okay, thanks Eliza Pancakes. I didn't know Eliza was our neighbor. Raphael, can you go do it? I know you're kind of stinky. Go be like, hey Eliza, how are you doing? Thanks for being a neighbor. Wait, is Eliza pregnant? Eliza's walking like she's pregnant. Oh my gosh, Eliza and Mint are pregnant. Also, Eliza's like, I don't want to give the gift to you. I want to give it to Mint. Oh, she gave her a pizza. That is so cute. <laughs> You know what? I feel like they're actually better friends than I thought they were. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy for their little family. And they're gonna get married. Oh, I didn't even download any CC wedding dresses. What was I thinking? Oh, Mint is outside feeling the baby bum. Brighter day. You know what? Okay, I think that Mint should plan some outfits. She's had this look for a little while. I think it's time for her to kind of have not a more mom look, but like just a different look. Plus, we gotta get the outfit ready for her wedding, her wedding outfit. Hairs. Oh yeah, there's like these hairs. These ones are pretty. And we had this one, I think, on for a while. Yeah, I think I really like the either these clumsy alien ones. So maybe like this one or probably this one. I think I'm gonna go the long with the bangs for now, but we might chop it all off when baby two comes around. Oh, I don't know if I can change her skin details now, but I was like, I think there was like a new highlighter that I had. Oh wait, there is a highlighter I have. There, oh, it's pretty, but I can't do her blush and do her highlight. Oh, I can do a more blushy highlight. I mean, that one's pretty cute. For her accessories, obviously, I think we might swap her hoop for like a stud, maybe a little low key on her eyebrow piercing. Outfit wise, I think it's time for a change up. I think, I mean, with the piercings and like the earrings and stuff, she still looks pretty young. So maybe I need to, need to switch up the jewelry a little bit. Maybe I should change the earrings. Maybe something kind of more chill and then maybe we'll remove the necklaces. I think that's really cute. And then for tops, I did originally get this because I thought it had a really pretty mint green color. So maybe we'll do that. And then we'll do maybe like some cozy jeans. Yeah, these are lower rise. I like it with the colors on, but I think it'd be more fun if it's like a plaid green. Maybe we'll do that. Cause that kind of looks like if her, this these two were combined, it'd be her hair color, which is kind of nice. I'll try to find like a mint green shoe. Maybe we just do these. We can do maybe like some socks. Yeah, nice little white. I think this gives me like mint as a mom vibes because I think mint is still pretty fashionable. Like she likes piercing, her piercings, you know, so the chain kind of matches still, but she's a little bit older. Let's give her maybe a little bit of a wedding look. She might be more of like a casual wedding kind of gal. That one's pretty cute. Or we don't need an updo. We could have her hair down. I think that's cute. Maybe we'll do the heels. We'll do them white. 
some nice wedding shoes. And then we need to give her like a necklace or something. This one, maybe we'll make it. No, I think the gold is nice. We need earrings. Of course, she can do like this with like white to kind of match the necklace a little bit. This is kind of giving me a little bit more bridal. Oh, those are nice and simple. That's cute. I think this would be really cute for her wedding gown, even though it's pretty untraditional, but mint this not a very traditional gal, so. And I really love her new look. And then I kind of want a new cold weather look because I feel like we've had this cold weather look for a little while. So maybe we'll mix it up a bit, get her something different. Maybe this? I love these jeans. I just wish the buckle wasn't like that. Ugh, so I like the cuff of them. Maybe that, I guess, would be okay. Maybe we'll do like a white, a white jean. I, I know it's winter, but I think that's kind of cute. And then we'll do boot. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Lipstick, I'm thinking we could do more of like a nude. Yeah, I think that's cute. I think it looks great. Okay, mint is got a new look. She's now pregnant. She's ready for work. What other things does Minth need? Minth needs more mischief. So let's get on that computer. Oh, her future husband is so cute. Resolution is complete. Raphael completed its resolution because he reached parenting skill level four. Wait, that's so, oh, 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 Pick up the toddler. I know he wants to chat with his fiance, but go pick up your toddler. She just ran out the front door with a stranger. Let's uh, put Poppy down on the couch. <laughs> oh, teach to say please and thank you. That's pretty cute. Mint is cleaning the toilet. I thought I left you working on your mischief skill, but why don't we just send a bunch of letters to Bob Pancakes, okay? Doing these like money requests as a joke. Send some chain letters to him. Ooh, Mint gained the people person lifestyle. Oh my gosh, Bob Pancakes is so mad. We love to see it. We're almost level nine. Ooh, tradition's complete. Yes, she did her prank day stuff. That's great. Poppy angry. <gasps> Poppy! Oh no, Poppy made her first mess. Raphael's been like going hard into the parenthood stuff right now and we love that for him. So I think he's gonna discipline the recent behavior, but very calmly, he's gonna ask her not to make a mess. He's gonna say, Poppy, I I know you're new to this planet, okay? Both as an alien and as a child, but we need you not to make a mess. Uh-oh, she was busy, so he didn't get to tell. Okay, wait, I guess he did get to tell her? I don't know. Wait, is she like have a bad public image now? No, she's got a neutral reputation. It's just going down a little bit because of, you know, she's being mischievous. That's her whole goal in life. Oh, okay. She really needs to use the toilet. All right, fine. Use the toilet really fast, but you're so close. I just really need you to troll the four rooms. We need to level up the mischief skill. Oh, and Poppy took herself to bed. Do you want to tuck her in? Tuck in. Yeah, there we go. Raphael had a nice little bonding day with Poppy. Now he's going to tuck her into bed. Say good night, Poppy. Have a good night. Come on. It's almost there. Yes. Woohoo! Level nine of the mischief skill and her resolution's complete. Thank goodness. Okay, now she can go get some leftovers. Aw, she's bonded with Mojito. I feel like she was trying to kind of just be like mean mom with Mojito for a while because she wanted Mojito like to learn, you know, the rules of the family. She's not super sleepy, so I actually kind of want you to play and try to get your level up of your logic skill as well. You're half way through that so if you just buckle down a little bit i know it's like early monday morning though so you do have to go to work okay maybe we will let her sleep just because i don't want her to go to work feeling like bad oh Raphael's feeling fresh and fine getting his fine booty up to make some food he made some mac and cheese for breakfast which is hilarious and he reached cooking level nine what since when was he so good at cooking wait what are his skills he's cooking logic piano and he's very charismatic. Wait, we need to get a piano for him. I thought there might be like a small piano that isn't just a keyboard, but I think the keyboard's fine for now. Maybe we'll get him a nicer one at another point. Raphael, would you like to play a song? Romantic, whimsical waltz? No, I hate the noise. I don't like how that sounds. Let's, let's try this one. 
Okay. I don't like the sound of this piano. Maybe from far away, it sounds good. It's just so tingy. I like the sound of a real piano. Poppy is waking up. She's very hungry. Wait a second. Senior politician technician. This is her parent. Oh my gosh. Her other parent is a mother. Mints, the person that impregnated Mint was this woman. Interesting. So technically Poppy has two mothers, which is kind of cool. Raphael, are you ready to go for work tomorrow? Oh, he's just playing with Mojito. He's having a grand old time. Poppy's, as usual, getting up and, and getting her own food. Give Poppy a bubble bath. Her mistress is level nine. Logic is level eight. So we're so close to our first two things being done in the challenge. Poppy, do not go outside and go do that, okay? Poppy, why don't you work on shape? Raphael, why don't you try to read a book and, and get a, another breakthrough? Yes, here she comes. Prager's AF. We love to see it. Wait, how pregnant is she? She's second trimester in five hours. So she's actually not second trimester. Raphael had his seventh breakthrough. Good job, Raphael. Poppy reached thinking level three. Good job, Poppy. Why don't we just play chess until she goes to work? Okay, I'm gonna join. All right, drinker giveaway need fixer serum. Can you do that? Test serum need fixer. She's like, hey, Paga, I got a new haircut. Would you like to try this need fixer serum? And then we're gonna mind control Paka to clean. She's very focused today. I think she's really got her eye on the prize, hoping to get that promotion again. Order coworker to analyze Flora. Why don't we do that with Renee? She's going to work on synthesizing. She's a pretty senior member of this lab. So of course she has to tell everybody what to do at work during the day. Attempts to analyze Flora have yielded a daisy. Okay, good for you, girl. Contact aliens, no. Can we do anything else? It's either mind control or contact aliens. Well, let's mind control. Let's get everybody into formal wear because she's probably already thinking about weddings. And so she wants to see what everyone's formal wear is ahead of the wedding, you know? Eliza's yours is cute. Wait, what the heck? Supriya is also pregnant? Wait, what the heck? Is she married? Oh yeah, she's married to Justin Delgado. That's right. Oh my gosh, she's pregnant. There's three Sims pregnant at the same time. How flipping cute is that? I want to see Supriya's formal wear is as well. Let's see. Yes. Renee, you're my guinea pig today. Unfortunately, I'm so, so sorry, um, but we're going to have to give you our untested serum. I just want to see if it embiggens you. I don't know what it would embiggen about her. Neighborhood hive mind. Let's do a happy town work on rocket for 10 minutes. Yeah, let's do it. We just got to get everything ready to go for this promotion to level eight scientist. Second trimester, third trimester is in a 22 hours. She's going to be very pregnant for her wedding. Nice. Attempt alien contact. As traumatic as that experience is, she's a curious mind and she really wants to contact Poppy's mother. We'll mind control a sim to clean then. And then we do probably need to like ask for some metals and crystals and stuff. So we're gonna do that too. Her day will end in an hour. I think we've done a pretty good job with the work day today. So make sim rendezvous using sim control. Ravenous. Oh, cause they're hungry. I don't want to make anyone over here hungry. Let's synthesize a serum. No one's over here. Our girl's mixing her serum up, making sure everything's going well. Success. Oh, end of shift. Oh, we made quite a bit of money, but we didn't get that promotion. But we're excellent now, so promotion definitely next time. How's Poppy doing? How was your day, sweetie? Did you learn anything fun? Wow, she's level three is on everything now. She just needs to learn how to potty. Raphael, do you mind working on that after you maybe take a thoughtful shower? Ugh, we're so close to finishing the Chief of Mischief as well. Maybe we just need to like go ham with mischief. She's gonna prank her own toilet. She's like cracking herself up as she does this toilet. I don't know what she just dropped in there, but it's pink now. Oh no, it's scared Mojito. Oh, Poppy, do you wanna talk to Mojito? Why don't you go pet Mojito? Mojito's a little scared after the pranking incident. Poppy's like, hello, Mojito. I will take care of you. It's okay, kitty cat. Give Mojito a little hug. Poppy's like a little bit hungry. So maybe we'll pull out some more food for Poppy. Maybe the breakfast scramble would be good for Poppy. I feel like there's only, like Poppy ages up tomorrow. I feel like it's weird timing to have the wedding on a 
Tuesday and he was really tired before Poppy ages up. And we'll we'll put the lot down in like kind of a new area. Maybe they're really wanting to kind of expand. There's a new baby coming, you know, maybe they're more focused on having a, a nice house than like paying for a wedding right now. I could totally see them having kind of like a smaller wedding. So what if I move this household to like, yeah, they're gonna join the Free Spirits family. And then on this pier, we're gonna put down my home that I built from the library. I'm gonna just assume you guys were like, yeah, it's fine. You know, you did it wrong the first time. This lot is too small. What lots are big enough? I'm gonna move Munch. You know, I'm just gonna evict, evict Munch. I think he's the one that we got into a fight with once, so for some reason I'm evicting him. I think he's a teen living alone, which just doesn't make sense. And then I'm going to place this one. There is like a accidental random wall in it, but it's fine. Okay, how much is it now when I place it? I'm a little nervous, but I won't do it again. I'm cheating technically, but it doesn't impact the challenge to do this, so it's fine, right? It doesn't matter. See, it's perfect for them. So I think I'm going to continue, and I think that they're gonna move to the new house. And we're just gonna put free real estate on and it's gonna be okay. I didn't do that the first time. Let's gather up all of our stuff that we wanna move once again. We wanna move with us. We don't want to leave any of our, you know, personal belongings from home behind. This uh, trash can is apparently one of my favorite things. We'll keep the bowl for our kitty, all of our elements. Is that everything? Oh wait, no, there's the things on the walls. Move households. Since we didn't use the free real estate the first time, I'm not gonna take the money from the old house and like bulldoze it. I'm just going to make the new house like that we can just move in. Free. <sighs> no, keep the furniture. Wait, does that mean we're bringing the furniture with me? Cause then I'm gonna sell this furniture. All right, we're moving into the new house. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys the house that I built. I'm so proud of it. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh wait, I gotta probably, hold up. I gotta like redo this, my house really fast because <laughs> it's facing the wrong direction. There we go. And we'll just yeah, pick it up here. Yeah, like that. This is the new mint home. Oh my gosh, wait, what happened to the front door? Why? Anyway, this is the back. I have a lot more, you know, decor on it. Apparently the front door is missing. I don't know why the front door is missing. Ooh, we got a new decontamination pod. I didn't even realize we got one of those. Okay, cool. Maybe we'll have to like add a basement that like, I know there is an accidental basement. I will be deleting. Let's give it a front door and then I'll give you the grand tour. That one's fine. So here's the little living area. We've got the nice kitchen that looks, I mean, oddly familiar, right? We might remove that trash can. And then we have a little dining area though. That's perfect for a family of four. It's almost like I knew, even though I did not know. And then we've got kind of mints, plenty of areas for Mint to add her, you know, work stuff, a little bit of a bigger bedroom. And then here is Poppy's room, which uh, we have a, a little bassinet already for baby number two. We got a bathroom for Poppy and the kids and just for the house in general. And then there's an ensuite for the master as well. We'll maybe put like our matriarch photo. You guys loved that I made that in like huge and in the living room. So I'm going to do that again, of course. We have a decontamination pot. Should that just go in the bathroom? Like instead of the shower, should they have a decontamination pot? Sell that. We're gonna have a decontamination pot instead in the bathroom because I think that's honestly hilarious. Just so funny. We need this in here for Kitty. And then we need the bowl here that Kitty uses. I think this can go in the bedroom, honestly. And then we'll have this kind of under here again. We'll have this over here in the corner. Flying saucer table lamp. So she had one of these. So maybe we'll do like one of those. Or actually, we could put it on the desk, keep it on the desk. And then on the bedside tables, we can do something else. Cute. Yeah, I'm so excited for them to live here because I was, I had so much fun making it. Oh my gosh, we didn't grab Kitty's bed. I just realized that. I feel like the bedroom would be kind of cute to have Kitty's bed in. And it also would be kind of cute if Kitty had a bed in the Poppy's room too. And I just realized I have pictures of them, I think in her inventory that we never put up 
So let's maybe put up a photo of them too. And then we need like a family photo too. I think we added, yeah, blue frame for that one too. And then we'll, we'll make this bigger. He's uncomfortable. Does he need to go to bed? Okay, maybe he should put, read Poppy to sleep and then he should go to bed himself. We're gonna let them kind of rest and then I'm going to age up uh, Poppy and have her birthday be in the new house. Oh, third trimester's in eight hours. So it's coming up soon. Yep, today's the day. It's the first day of string and it is. I really anticipate that we're gonna work really hard in this. Mojito's running away! No! What the heck? Mojito! No, 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 no! Go, go get Mojito! Go get Mojito! Stop! Oh my gosh, Raphael and Poppy are gonna be so sad when they wake up and Mojito's gone. Go troll the forums while you're just chilling. Maybe she's in the house that like the traits are supposed to like, her skills are supposed to gain a lot faster. Oh my gosh, they are. Raphael's sad. Oh, he's so sad because Mojito's gone. He woke up and he knew. He was like, Mojito. So he's giving himself a little sad pep talk and crying. Oh, poor baby. He loves Mojito so much. Meanwhile, Nymph is almost at level nine of the mischief skill. Oh my gosh, or of the logic skill, but we, we need to pause because she's going to go to work in an hour and I really do want her to age up Poppy like right now. So let's put some candles on for Poppy and wake up the birthday girl and help blow out candles for Poppy on her birthday. Come on, Raphael, come celebrate. Say happy birthday. He saw it. He's like, yay. He's still bummed out about Mojito. Oh my gosh, but he's super proud of her. Poppy aged up. Okay, so let me look for the Rose generation. What the specific uh, aspirations and everything. Aspiration is serial romantic. Oh, we don't really have that right now since she wants to be a politician and a romantic maybe we'll do social i feel like that makes sense social butterfly for poppy and then our first trait we've got hot-headed snob and romantic since hot-headed is like the only option so i guess we have a hot-headed kid let's check out poppy in create a sim here is poppy berry oh my gosh she's pretty cute i think i really like her hairstyle they kind of gave her no chin so i'm gonna add a little bit more chin back that's like a thing that i've noticed the sims kind of do. Let's give her a little bit of some CC. I like that one. Give her a little bit of eyelashes and we'll give her maybe like a little bit of like a natural blush. I think she looks really cute. Let's give her a little bit of a makeover. I'm going for like a red and pink aesthetic for our poppy. Maybe like this kind of dress is really cute and some little red shoes and then for formal wear. Oh, this one reminds me of the ladybug look that she has a little girl. That one's really cute too. So let's do that for shoes. We'll do like black and then we'll maybe do like some socks or something. Some cute little red socks. Fitness. This one's like pink and red. I love this pajamas. Oh, actually this one's cute because it's red and pink. I like that. And then for party look, I'm thinking that she could wear probably a top and a bottom. Maybe this might be good. That one's cute. And we'll do like a little red boot. And then swimwear. She's wearing a little one piece, which I think is cute, but we'll do like a, maybe a red version of it. And give her like some sunglasses too, I think would be very sweet to give her some little red sunglasses. There it is cutie and then for hot weather that one's really cute and then we could do, oh wait there was one with like watermelons on that's so cute and then bottom we can do kind of like a some red shorts maybe we'll do like one of those that's very cute and then cold weather look for cold weather i love this i love that she's got glasses for cold weather i don't love the gloves so we're gonna take the gloves off and then we're gonna do some nice little red, like red pants maybe, cute. And then some red, red snowy boot. Look at that girl. This is new Poppy. She is hot headed and social butterfly. And I'm so, so, so excited to continue on in the new house. I hope you guys approve. And also to have the wedding next episode. It will be spectacular. I can't wait for the wedding. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.